Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. We got to tell these men, stop trying to be a whoremonger and sexing up all of our sisters, making hoes out of them so they can teach our children properly according to God's laws, according to God's rules. That's what we have to do. These two young brothers behind you just told me they don't know what they want to be when they get out of high school. That's a problem, bro. Because look, Dirt, the TV, the Jewish man, he's going to show these brothers how to go to death in jail. Right. He's going to show these brothers how to be a woman. Because that's what a lot of these brothers doing. They competing with the women to be the women. We got to learn how to apply this law right here. As men, we got to stand up manfully. Check this out, come here. Hey, excuse me, sir, with the uh, white hat on. Right here. Yeah, what's your name, bro? My name is Mark. Mark, what's your name? Who? Raymond, what's yours? Hey, my name is Jose. Hey, I want to show you what the Most High said that us men have to do. Listen, because five young brothers just walked by, and all five of them walked like they was women, was acting like they were women. I'm not going to say they was homosexual, but they had a effeminate spirit on them. That's against the nature of God. That's against the nature of anything. Read that. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 10 and verse 33. And he said unto me, stand up manfully, and I will advise thee. I want you to listen to what God said. Listen again. And he said unto me, stand up manfully, and I will advise thee. You hear that, young brother? God says, stand on your own too, like a man, manfully. That's a continual thing. That's not sometimes, that's not saying stand like a woman with your hand on your hips, make your backbone slip. No. God says to stand manfully and he's going to advise you. I Meaning he's going to give you instructions on how you're supposed to move on this earth. Because there's a conspiracy against you brothers. The conspiracy is to get you death or in jail. That's the conspiracy or to be a homosexual. You are no good to the nation being like that. Either one. Bro, where you going, Mark? We need your help. We need the older men to see, uh, the younger men to see an older man to be an example for them. But guess what? We'll be that example for you brothers. All right? Read it again. Listen. Second Ezra chapter 10 verse 33. And he said unto me, stand up manfully and I will advise thee. Oh, praise. Watch out. Let me get over here on this side. Where you see yourself at on this side? You on the bike. Come on over, bro. Come on over. Where you see yourself at right here? See? Show me. If you could fill out a job application, which one you going to touch? Which one you going to fill out? The top one? Huh? You two? American Black? That's what you is? Which one? American Indian? Okay, hold on. So, if you call yourself one of these, right here, this is what your slave master, the one who raped your forefathers and foremothers, this is what they called us in slavery. But this is what God calls us. God calls us the 12 tribes of Israel. Bro, pay attention. The 12 tribes of Israel. What's going on right here, this Bud Billiken parade? This is a deceptive trap. Because what they're doing is they're teaching the young women to be hoes and the young men to be killers. Because you watching your back from the ops while you watching the young ladies shake their behind. Then you got the mothers bringing their daughters up here, prostituting their daughters to do so. So this is to continue on the destructive mindset of our community and we gotta change it. That's why the most I sit you over here so you can learn how to stand up manfully. So you are from the mighty nation of Israel. That's right. The mighty nation. You're not an American black. God called you, he called you to be a son of his. And to have power with him. There's no power in saying that you're an American black or an American Indian. There's no power in that. 
give me that. Uh, what's that? Genesis 32? Yes, sir. Genesis 32, 28. Let's show what God calls you. Don't leave, bro. Don't leave. Wherever you got to go is going to be there. This information ain't going to always be here for you, bro. Take advantage now. It's nothing funny. We at war. Like the brother was saying, this is warfare going on on us. You brothers are being picked off one by one. You know how many people end up missing in our community and you going to find them? All these murders that's happening in our community is not by our hands. Our enemies is putting on blackface coming in spraying y'all. How are you able to get switches on Glocks? They giving it to you to do it. So you got to understand this is warfare. Read. The book of Genesis chapter 32 verse 28. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has thou power with God. You are a prince. And you have power with God. That's, right. That's how you stand up manfully by when you subscribe saying, I'm Israel. That's right. When we ask you what nationality you are, you're supposed to say it with pride, with your chest out. You're not a gangster disciple, black disciple, vice lord, black stone. That's, that's garbage. That's right. But when you subscribe as Israel, the 12 tribes, that's when you have power. Right. That's when God starts to move on your behalf and start to make things happen. Give me 1 Corinthians 13, 11. It's time to put away this foolishness, this childish behavior. How old is you, bro? 16. What about you? 20. What about you? 16. Y'all some young men. Right. We young men. How old is you, sir? 59. He's the oldest out here right now amongst us. We're supposed to honor and respect our elders. Right. But do we do that? No. no, we disrespect the elders. That's why a lot of us get put to death because we go against our, what our fathers and our mothers say. A lot of y'all get put to death in your age group because you don't honor your mother and your father. That's a childish behavior we got to put away. Read. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 11. When I was a child, I speak as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. So these are the things that we're going to advise you as men. Put away those childish things. No longer are you a gangster disciple. No longer are you shooting your brothers down with switches. No longer are you whoring out your sisters having sex with this girl, that girl, that girl, that girl. No. Y'all not old enough to be married. Y'all should be focusing in, in school on how to become an architect. How to become an electrician. How to become an HVAC technician. Right. How to be a doctor, a lawyer. What do you want to be when you grow up, bro? You don't know. What about you? What? You don't know. You see, the, that's a problem. I'm a what about you? I'm, a, I'm going to college right now to be a veterinarian to get my bathroom. Bro, let me tell you something, bro. You the, great, the greatest people on earth. You are. You should have a game plan on what it is that you want to do when you graduate out of high school. You should have a game plan on what it is you want to do when you graduate out of college. Some of us ain't built for college, but get a, get a, get a skill. Work with your hands. That's called a trade. Learn how to be a, a, a real estate investor. Don't always tell me I'm going to play sports. I'm going to be like little dirt. Man, that's foolishness. That's not standing up manfully. That's being a child, because all little dirt do is spew out death in our community. That's why they think it's okay to do this. Turn around and look, look, look what our sisters is doing, bro. And the women is leading them. The women is leading our young daughters to be hoes. Shaking their tail. Teaching them how to be strippers. That's foolishness. Read it again. First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. When I was a child, I speak as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Hey, bro, walking across the street. Come learn and build with us, man. These young brothers need your help. Come help us build them up. Come help us build these young men up. Don't just walk by and act like everything is all good. Everything is all good out here. You understand that? So, you said, hey, you said you 16, you 17. You 20, right? All right, so look, how do you get to heaven? Do you want to get to heaven? 
What do you got to do to get to heaven? What about you? Huh? You don't believe in heaven? Okay, I'm going to tell you what heaven is. Heaven is, it's turning the tables on the same people who did this to us. That's what heaven is. Heaven is rulership. You understand? So, it's hard for you to believe us ruling this earth. Just imagine us having slaves. Imagine people paying us taxes. Imagine your women not touching the ground, but being carried by their slave man, by, by their slaves. That's heaven. But how do you get it? Do you want it? Do you want that? Yeah. You know, I do. I do. Let me show you something. Give me that in Matthew. Read it out. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So, sister, sis, excuse me, young lady, what well, we going over, we showing the men how to stand up manfully. Hey, brother, we teaching these young brothers how to stand up manfully because that's what we missing in our community. We need you to help us to help these young men to stand up manfully. Because a lot of us is killing each other. We, we want to show our daughters how to strip. We want to shoot each other down. A lot of our men want to be women. So we showing them how to be men so they can get the kingdom of heaven. Read it. Verse 17. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. So get into life or get in heaven is keeping God's commandments. What are some of God's commandments? What about you? What are some of God's commandments? Huh? Alright, I'm going to show you one. Give me Leviticus 19.29. Let me give you one right here. Hey, how y'all brothers doing? Y'all good? Hey, we showing our brothers how to be men. Can y'all help us to give them some solutions? Can y'all come over here to help us to get these, these young men right here? They just told me that they don't know what they want to do when they get out of high school. So we trying to build with our brothers. We trying to build with our brothers in our community to help bring solutions to our family. Because these young men, guess what they doing? They killing one another. Some of them want to be women. They out here, you know what's going on out here, bro? You got these young women shaking their tail. These mothers teaching their daughters how to be strippers. That's what these young women are out there doing. That's all i seen. Doing all this shaking, twerking. How's that helping us? That's not helping us. These brothers don't even know what they want to do when they get out of high school. Us men got to stand up. Read that again. Wait, here's the law of God. Hold on. Hold on, bro. Listen to the law of God. Look, y'all come over and help us build these men up. Just don't march in a parade. Give some solutions to the people. Read it. The book of Matthew, chapter Leviticus chapter 19, verse 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall to hold them and the land become full of wickedness. A lot of the men come to the Bud Billica parade just so they can watch these young women. You brothers are masons. That means that y'all are about building y'all community. Am I correct? Y'all got to speak out against that evil, bro. Y'all got to help these young men to be what? You talking about being master builders. Learn how to build themselves up. Correct. Build don't, themselves up. Don't just march and then that's it and then leave. No, give the people some hope. Yeah, give, give them some hope. hope. You understand give that? Hope. Calm yeah. down, brother. Calm down. Give so look, I'm going to read the scripture again. And I'm going to break it down just a little bit more so you can take it to the rest of your brothers so we can stop this madness, bro. Read. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Well, no woman... No, no young woman thinks I want to be a hoe. It's to their mama show them. But guess what? The man got to show the woman how to be a woman. That's right. How to be a wife. To teach the children. So we have a big job to do. We got to tell these women, stop opening up your legs to these niggas and marry a man. We got to tell these men, stop trying to be a whoremonger and sexing up all of our sisters, make a hoes out of them. So they can teach our children properly according to God's laws. According to God's rules. That's what we have to do. These two young brothers behind you just told me they don't know what they want to be when they get out of high school. That's a problem, bro. Because Lil Dirt, the TV, 
the Jewish man, he's gonna show these brothers how to go to death in jail. Right. He's gonna show these brothers how to be a woman. Because that's what a lot of these brothers doing. They competing with the women to be the women. We gotta learn how to apply this law right here. As men, we gotta stand up manfully. Read it again. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. So that means the Bob Billica Parade is promoting whoredom. You women are teaching your daughters to be prostitutes. That is out of order. You understand? And now all these young men, what they want to do, hey, bro, listen. Now all the young men come out here to watch these young sisters. And guess what some of these young brothers are doing? Walking around with pistols looking for the ops. How many fights was out here since y'all was marching? You know? Two. Uh, two, uh, two that you know of. I seen two. two fights. But I thought this was a parade about back to school. A lot of this is dog and pony. Look at me. Look at me. I'm a march in the parade. While our sisters is being hauled out and while our brothers is up and down their own brothers. Give me 19 verse 8. Uh, Thou shalt not hate thy brother. Read that. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Read it again. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So God says, thou shalt not avenge. Thou shalt not avenge. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Right. But some of that has been going on out here. Some of y'all listen to this drill music and all it does is promote killing. You men have to rise up. You men have to be men in our communities. Don't just come to the Barbilica Parade looking at these young sisters while they twerking. How about you come to the Barbilica Parade and cast this evil down? That's how you stand up manfully, bruh. You cast the evil down. And you don't hate your brother in their heart. Hey, I used to be your age. If I could change, you can too. Because what these brothers is out here doing, it's not manfully, it's not honorable. It's not that honorable about coming here to watch your sisters shake their butt. Right. And you hawking your brothers down to shoot them and kill them. Right. It's not that honorable about that. There's no honor in that. It's nothing but disgrace. Right. Read it again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Don't hate your brother in your mind. Meaning don't listen to drill music while you going to hawk them down. While you spinning the block. How about you just say, you know what, man, I'm going to let my brother breathe. I'm going to let him live, man. I ain't going to kill him. Why? What am I going to kill him for? He might be my cousin. You don't know. We all came off the slave ship. We family. So why is we killing each other? Right. Makes no sense. So that's why we out here to show you up, show you how to stand up manfully. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Ah!